Moving on to the latest tensions in Israel as the terror wave continues. Joining us is Member of Parliament Moshe Tzulpaz. Hello, Lital. We're currently in a very tense security period with riots every day, terror attacks, and it doesn't seem that the government is doing too much about it. What is your method on operation for this current crisis? Well, I don't think I, I agree with the, the way you set it up. I mean, we've had, we've had hard times in Israel, you know, second intifada, the intifada of, uh, of knives a few years ago, a year, exactly a year ago, uh, May 21. And yes, we are in a tough time. We, are, we had a lot of, of um, you know, very hard terror attacks. And yet I can say... Uh, that we're doing a ver the, the army and all the security forces are working very hard in order to prevent terror and the government is leading it but the real work is done in the field and I, I see it in the committee of uh, defense and, and uh, foreign uh, affairs and we're getting you know I'm getting the big picture and I think we're, we're doing a good job in uh, you know stopping terror preventing the next terror attacks this is a very delicate time, but we, we saw it coming, and I think there's a lot of good work being done. Not so much, because yet again, 20 Israelis were murdered. How do you plan to stop this terror wave? So we, after more or less 20 years, 18 years, the, after the building of the fence in uh, Judea and Samaria, we decided now to close the gaps, the big gaps in the, in the fence which is something that hasn't been done. And we, we, we gave the first budget for that. And people have to understand that um, today, you know, you can get into any place from Judah and San Maria to, to a little Israel, wherever you want, because the fence is open in hundreds of kilometers. So we've, put, we've set the army to, to stop them, you know, to block the, those areas. And we've given the budget for the first building of the rest of the fence and we'll have to budget it again in uh, this coming year and uh, fighting terror is an everyday effort in israel our terror uh, units are working very hard as we speak in janine and in other places and i do believe we'll be able to uh, stop terror after 20 people murdered and yet well, let, let's just uh, understand the the decision to go and, and be a terrorist isn't something that depends on us. It's our enemies, that's the way they act, and we should be very firm or very strict in stopping and fighting terror, and I think that's what we're doing at the moment. Now, we've seen Prime Minister Naftali Bennett coming to console the family of fallen Special Forces officer Noam Raz, who fell in the fight in Janine and received a ton of criticism. But where was your party leader, Yair Lapid, and the rest of the party leaders? Well, look, I, I don't think we should count every uh, um, funeral. I, I mean, I, I respect Prime Minister Bennett for going for the family uh, in Kidah, although we knew it won't be an easy visit. Prime Ministers over the years went to very few uh, families and funerals because they have a lot to do and, and sadly enough there, there are a lot of funerals. So I think uh, I respect what uh, Prime Minister Bennett did and I myself went to one of the families that was uh, the killed for the family from Lod in uh, the terror attack in El Ad and other MKs did the same. And I do think this, this government is very, very, you know, um, working very hard, both to prevent terror and to, to give whatever is needed to the families that, uh, that suffered the worst, you know, the worst that can happen to a family to, to get the, the beloved killed by terror. And I think, um, as I say, Prime Minister uh, Bennett did the right thing. And although it wasn't an easy visit, I respect him for that. Mm -hmm. Well, you didn't fully answer me about uh, Lapid, but OK, we'll, we're moving on to the next question. The coalition is also in a rough spot. Do you believe you'll succeed in surviving this term? Yes, I think we're working very hard and we're doing a good job on keeping the coalition together. Uh, working with 60 MKs isn't easy, but I think uh, we've, you know, we're, we're heading towards the middle of the summer term of the Knesset. 
with a lot of successes. Uh, the opposition isn't giving us a hard and an easy time, but I think at the moment we're doing a good job in keeping the coalition together and passing the rules uh, the, that we need. And we are doing an, a, a big effort to work with the opposition on the areas, a lot of areas that we have in common. And I think that should that, that's the way should, we should go on in the coming net, uh, 10 weeks until the end of the summer term. Minister Lapid also said he won't have a problem relying on the Arab joint list. Do you feel the same? I think coalitions in Israel work with the Arab parties, worked with them over the years from the right, from the left. The fact that them, uh, um, um, the Meshutefet are working with the opposition, voting against us is legitimate. And if we can get them to vote for some of our um, um, rules, that's also legitimate. They're not part of our coalition. They're not part of, uh, of uh, the 60 MKs we have. But if we can negotiate and get some of them to support us, it's, uh, it's, it's been done and it will be done in Israeli politics. Yes. Member of Knesset, Moshe Tzorpaz, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you, Lita. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.